The Pot of Honey Once upon a time, a lion was going on a journey. On the way, he found a pot of honey. This looks good to eat, the lion thought. I'll take it with me. So he picked up the honey and tried to carry it. A monkey saw him. She liked honey. Hello, lion, she called out. What are you carrying? My honey, the lion answered. It's difficult for you, said the monkey. You don't have any hands. I have an idea. Let me ride on your back and give the honey to me. I will hold it for you. The lion was happy. That is a good idea, he said. Jump on my back, monkey, and hold the honey for me. But don't eat any of it. If you do, I will be very angry. The lion then parted his lips to reveal the monkey's long teeth. The lion continued to walk after the monkey climbed onto its back. The primate gazed at the honey held in her palms. It appeared to be very tasty. It had a pleasant scent. She reached into the pot and tasted it. The honey had an amazing flavor. Once more, she dipped her finger into the honey. What are you doing? asked the lion. Are you eating my honey? Oh no, no, said the monkey. I am holding it very carefully. The monkey took her finger out of the honey. A drop fell on the lion's head. The lion stopped walking. What was that? He said. Was that my honey? Are you eating it? No. Oh no, said the monkey. It was a tear. I am crying, and my tears fell on your head. Your tears? Why are you crying? Asked the lion. Are you sad? Yes, said the monkey. I'm very sad, because my mother is dead. Your mother? When did she die? Many years ago. Then don't be sad, monkey. Don't cry. All animals must die. You and I will die one day. And the lion walked on. The monkey quickly consumed all of the honey. Now the pot was empty. The monkey was anxious. She thought, the lion is going to be furious. Lion, she exclaimed, I have to leave now. This is close to where my relatives reside. Please accept your honey. Leaping off the lion's back, she hurled the pot in his direction. Then she started to flee. The lion examined his receptacle. It was bare. He roared, You've eaten all my honey. You thief, come here. I will exact revenge on you. The primate leaped into a tree, and so did the lion. He caught her tail in his mouth and bit it off, but he couldn't catch the monkey. She ran away from him into the forest. The monkey was angry with the lion now. My poor tail, she thought. I have lost my beautiful tail. She looked down at the ground. The lion was still there. He was watching her. She jumped into another tree. The lion followed her. I'll catch you, you wicked monkey, roared the lion. I will find you easily. You are the monkey with no tail. Hmm, thought the monkey. The lion is right. It will be easy for him to find me because I have no tail. She ran on through the trees. I must find my family, she thought. Soon, she came to a big group of her relatives. They were sitting in the trees, eating fruit. What happened to you? They all said. Where is your tail? My tail, the monkey said. I cut it off. It was a long, ugly thing. It was always dirty. It's much better without a tail. Look at me. I'm beautiful now. I'm very happy without my tail. It's true, all the other monkeys said. Tails are long and ugly. You are beautiful now. Cut off our tails, too. So the monkey cut the tails off, all her relatives. Just then, they heard a roaring noise in the forest. They were frightened. The lion is coming, they said. The lion came out of the trees. He stood on a hill, and he called to the monkeys. Monkeys! Listen to me, he called out. I am looking for a monkey who has no tail. Where is she? 
Give her to me. If you don't, I will chase you and eat you all. The other monkeys exclaimed, A monkey without a tail? However, we've all severed our tails. Here, there are none. The lion was furious. He thought, The monkey has meted me out. He called out to the monkeys, Come down from the trees. I'll track down whoever stole my honey. The lion was frightening the monkeys. They descended from the trees and took a seat on the earth. One by one, walk in front of me, the lion commanded. The lion was approached by the first monkey. Say it aloud, he said. Throw up your stomach contents. The monkey opened her mouth and vomited up her food. There were only seeds in her stomach. The next monkey walked in front of the lion. She vomited up her food, too. There were only fruit in her stomach. All the monkeys walked in front of the lion. None of them had any honey in their stomachs. At last, the first monkey stood in front of the lion. Vomit up your food, he said. She vomited up her food, and the honey came out of her mouth. Aha, said the lion, you are the thief. The monkey was very frightened. Oh, please, please, dear lion, she said. It's true. I ate your honey, but I'm very sorry. I'll never do it again. No, said the lion. You will not do it again, because now I'm going to punish you. I'm going to make a big fire and burn you in it. He caught the monkey and carried her under his arm. He went out of the forest to a big field. There was Tef's straw in the field. He picked up the straw and put it on top of the monkey. Stay here, he said. I'm going to look for fire. And he went away to find fire. The monkey bolted from under the straw at once. Overhead, there was a tree. She scaled the tree and took refuge inside. The tree bore many fruits. After gathering the fruits, the monkey dropped them onto the straw. She then waited while sitting in the tree. The lion reappeared soon after. He had a burning stick in his hand. He brought his stick up to touch the straw. It started to burn right away. You silly primadone. I'm punishing you now. The lion bellowed, I won't let you take my honey ever again. The flames intensified in temperature. On the straw, the fruit started to cook. One fruit burst into a loud explosion. At that very moment, the lion declared, that was the monkey's eye. He was overjoyed. Whoosh, one more fruit burst. The lion exclaimed, that was the monkey's other eye. Whoosh! Whoosh! Another two fruits burst. That was the monkey's stomach and heart. The lion let out a roar. From the tree, the monkey observed the lion. She was giggling uncontrollably. She was heard by the lion. He raised his head to see her. How come? He sobbed. Is that you? How come you are there? It was you who was in the fire. I could hear your heart, your stomach, and your eyes. The heat was causing them to explode. The monkey said, I was in the fire, but now I'm up here, in the tree. How did you travel to that location? The lion spoke. I'm not sure I get it. According to the monkey, it was simple. When you ignited the straw, Smoke billowed upward. I was lifted by the smoke and carried up into this tree. Is that accurate? The lion said, I didn't know smoke could carry people. Once more, the monkey chuckled. You were unaware? She remarked, but of all the animals, you are the lion, the greatest, the smartest and the strongest. Even though I am just a tiny, impoverished monkey, I am aware of riding on smoke. I am aware of riding on the smoke, of course. The lion let out a roar. Do you really believe that you are smarter than me, you stupid monkey? 
Observe me. I'll also be riding the smoke. I'll catch you once the smoke carries me up into the tree. And you'll never flee from me again. The lion leaped into the fire as a result. However, he was not carried up into the tree by the smoke. He was burned by the fire and perished. The monkey was content. My foe is no more, she declared. She descended from the tree and ventured into the forest to locate her family.